Ata lizova Asha we ekla Asha we ekla My sister Asha we ekla When the battle is over Asha we ekla Asha we ekla When the battle is over Ah You shall wake clap. You shall wear your clan, sister. You shall wear your clan. When, when the battle is over. You shall wake clap. You shall wake clap. Oh, Jesus. We'll give you glory. Oh, oh, no. You are the Lord. Let your name be glorified. Ah, Jesus. Complete, complete, complete. I am complete. Complete, complete, complete in Jesus. I am complete. In the name of Jesus, we are all complete in Jesus. Father, today we are here again to hear your word. Everlasting Father, take over. Take over my mouth and speak to me. Speak to all of us, Lord. We are your children. We are looking up to you, Jesus. Father, teach us the way we should grow. In the name of Jesus. Come and speak, oh Father. Holy Spirit of God, take control in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. The word the Lord put in my heart to share with you, my sister, just to remember you, just to remind you something. The title of the message, Are you a tree that bears fruit? Or a shaft? Are you a tree that bears good fruit? Or just a shaft. A shaft. Our Bible verse is in Psalm chapter 1, verse 1 to 6. I read in the name of Jesus. Blessed is the man that walk, not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinner, nor seated in the seat of scornful. But his delight is in the law of the law, and his and he is Lord. Doth he meditate day and night? Verse 3. And it shall be like a tree planted by the river of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season, his leaf also shall know with her, and whatsoever he doth shall prosper. Verse 4. The ungodly are no so, but are like the shaft we which the wind drive away. Therefore, the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners. In the congregation of the righteous. Verse 6. But the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous. But the way of the ungodly shall perish. God know who is the righteous here. God know who is the pretender. Now my question to you is. Are you a tree? Or a shaft? Are you a tree that bear a good fruit? Or just a, a shaft that passed away? Now. What's the meaning of tree here? A tree is like a blessing. A blessing. The Bible says, the Lord says, in verse 3, He shall be like a tree planted by the river of water that bringeth forth its fruit in its season. Its leaf also shall know wither. And whatsoever it doeth shall prosper. It shall be like a tree. What kind of tree are we talking about here? Is that tree a tree that brings blessing? A tree here is a blessing. A tree is a blessing because you see the tree. The tree holds soil, the ground. The tree provides shade. And the tree 
produce good fruit, fruit, and all of us are be benefiting from it. If you are looking for maybe there is sun, too much shine, sun shining, you need for protection, you can hide under a tree. Hallelujah. But the shaft, a shaft is like that um, leaves that, that, that has wither. That leaves that doesn't have any blessing is good for nothing. It's just, it's already dead. Hallelujah. That is why I'm asking you today. What? Are you a tree? Not only a tree. Are you a tree that bears good, good fruit or are you a shaft? Hallelujah. The tree here is a godly Christian. A godly Christian. I don't only say Christian because many people call themselves Christian. But this one is a Christian with difference. Uh -huh. There are trees, different kind of tree. But this tree is a tree with a difference. A godly Christian. A godly child of God. A sanctified believer. A righteous man. And the Bible says, blessed, it says, it shall be like a tree planted by the river of water that bringeth forth its fruit in its season, his leaf also shall know with them. And whosoever, whatsoever he do, shall prosper. Yes. That godly sister, that godly brother is like a tree. A tree that has roots. Roots is very important. Your foundation is very important for a child of God. You must have, have a solid foundation. Praise the Lord. A tree that has a solid ground is a tree that cannot fall no matter the level of the, the wind. The tree will stand. Matthew chapter 7. The book of Matthew chapter 7. Book of Matthew chapter 7. Verse 24. The Bible says. Whosoever yelled this saying of man. And do it them. I will liken him unto a wise man. Which built his house upon a rock. And the rain descended. And the flood came. The wind blew. And beat upon the house. It fell not. For it was found upon a rock. Hallelujah. And everyone that yelled this say, saying of man, and doeth them not, shall be like, like unto a foolish man, which built his, his house upon the sand. And the rain descended, and the food, flood came. The wind blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell. And great was the fall of it. Great was the fall of it. Today, I have a question. Where are your roots? Where are your roots? You call yourself a tree. Now, that tree, that good tree the Lord is talking about, is a tree that is planted near the river. The rivers of water. Now you, where are your roots? Where are you taking your resources? Is it coming from that rivers of water? Or is it coming from somewhere else? Is it, if that tree is coming, it, uh, the, the root is not coming, it is not connected to the source, to the river of water. That tree is just a shaft. Call yourself anything. As far you are not planted by the rivers of water, you are just a shaft. Because a tree cannot, subst cannot stay alive if there is no water. Yes. There is no water. That tree will not stay for a long time. The tree will die. And when the tree has no root, no matter the level of the strong wind, uh, 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 I mean, when the tree has a root, 
no matter the level of the strong wind, he will never fall because he has solid foundation. And that many people will benefit from that root, that tree, because it's a blessing for the family. Imagine a tree, a tree that bear mango, a tree that bear avocado, a tree that bear good fruit inside the compound. All the family is enjoying it. When there is sunshine, the fa your father, your sister, your mother can go and you know stay there under the tree. Maybe begin to meditate the word of God. The tree is a blessing. The tree that has strong roots, that tree will last forever, for, for many times. Amen. There are other trees. The tree look beautiful, very attractive. Even when, when you look at the leaf, the leaf can be shiny. But get closer. The more you get closer, then you look at the root. It's just a pot under the tree. Eh? Artificial pot. And when you look at the leaf, the leaf can break. The leaf is, is, is not, you see? Look at this. You see? This is not tree. This is fake. It's fake. You can even push it with your hand. A tree that you move here, yeah, it goes there. It's not a tree. It is fake tree. It is a fake tree. Any Christian that has no roots, he, say, is, he is a fake Christian. Artificial tree. You call yourself tree because physically you have lived. Eh? But when I look at your foundation, there is no root. Even if you have root, there is no water. Look at where you are. You will soon fall. You are just a shaft. Artificial Christians. Christian with name. They are like this. Are you a tree? Yes, I am a tree. Show me your root. The root is not strong. There is no water. That is not a tree. A Christian that does not have roots is a fake Christian. It's called a Christian, but in reality, it's a fake Christian. God does not recognize such Christian. As far you are not rooted and built in him, you are not a child of God. You are not. That is what John the Baptist, he told the Pharisees in Matthew chapter 3, verse 7 to 8. When the Pharisees were coming to him, let's read Matthew chapter 3, verse 7 to 8. I read in Jesus' name. He says, eh? But when he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees come to his baptism, he said unto them, Oh, generation of viper, who had warned you to flee from the wrath of God, the wrath to come? Bring forth therefore fruit, meet for repentance. And think not to say within yourself, we have Abraham, Abraham to our father. For I say unto you that God is able to, of this stone, to raise up children unto Abraham. And now also the earth is laid unto the roots of the tree. Therefore, everything, every tree which bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. Many people think that it's because they're coming to church. You are going to, today you are here, you are pleasing God. Oh, let me just please God. Because you are, you are in the church. Your presence. You are present physically, uh, spiritually you are absent. In heaven you are absent. There's, they don't know you in heaven. So these Pharisees thought they were coming to jump the party. They were not coming with the same reason, you know, like you and me. They were coming for something else. Many Christians today, they claim to be Christians, but they are not there. They are there only for, for other reasons, but they are not there for the main reason. Jesus came to reconcile you and, 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 and him. But that reason you are not there. You are there for something else. Fake Christian. Are you a tree or a shaft? Are you a tree planted by the rivers of water? Or you are just a shaft? Answer yourself. Answer yourself. Since you have been a Christian, try to list your life. The things you, so, you used to do in the world. If these things are still in your life, something is wrong. You cannot call 
call yourself a child of God? Then, the tree, the tree, you, you call yourself a tree planted by the river of water, but you bear no good fruit. Your fruit are not the fruit made for repentance. When are you going to change? See, when? Jesus is coming soon, my sister. Why are you taking this for granted? Time has come. You better wake up now. Before it's too late for your soul. You better wake up. Are you a fake Christian? Are you artificial? Or you are genuine? Don't say it with your mouth. Let your actions speak. Let your character speak. It is not because you are coming on the program. You are, you are present on the program that makes you a Christian. No. Your fruit. Your character. Your conduct. Begin to cry to deal. And watch your life. Bear good fruit. You are not doing any good to God. You are doing good to yourself. God is already God in heaven. He already has saints there. If today you backslide, somebody else will replace you. It's for your own good so that you will not have, you will not perish. Hallelujah. Why do you acting as if you are acting as if you are not, but you are acting. You are not 100%. You are 40%. There you are there. Here you are there. Fake Christian that have no roots. Any tree that has no root is a fake tree. You buy a tree. We have some trees here. There's a shop here. Fake tree. You see the tree is beautiful like this. People buy it to decorate the house. I used to buy it sometime too. Just to decorate the house. Just like flower. Fake tree. You, you, can, you can push it with the leg like this. It's not a tree. It's a fake tree. It looks beautiful. It looks beautiful. You beautify the room. You beautify the city room with it. Yes. But it's not a tree. Christians, they are there. They come here. I, I like to see you. Uh -huh. Every day. Why did you come last Sunday? Ah, my sister. I, I make sure I come home. Christian, church goer. Church goer. Yes. Everybody want to see you. You are. We are happy. But is your name written in the book of life? Are you a true child of God? Or you are just a fake Christian? Or you are just a chef? Let us know today. The Bible said that that Christian, blessed is the man who is blessed for God to bless you. Hallelujah. You must have some criteria. Catari uh, characteristic. He said, blessed is the man that walked not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standed in the way of sinners, nor seated in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and his Lord doth he meditate day and night. The Bible says, it shall be like a tree planted by the river of water. Unless you are plant, unless you are like that Christian, you will never taste the blessing of God. I mean blessing. You must be rooted in Christ. A solid foundation. Building him. Established in the faith. When they look at you, try to measure your Christian life the, the first month. Second month, the difference. Many people are beginning to go back to their old character. Remember, remember the day we were here, three days. Were you wasting that, those time? Is it a joke? Father Barry, Father Barry, 2014 is gone now. It's gone with all the bad character. You still reproduce them again. You are a shaft. You are a shaft. Something is wrong. Artificial Christian. You are not worthy to be called a Christian, no? You are even a liar. Don't allow people to call you Christian. You are not worthy of that name. 
Enough is enough. Or you are a Christian or you are not. This is a commandment. A commandment of God. If you love God, follow his commandment. Obey him. It's a commandment. You cannot be a child of God. But you are not rooted in the word of God. You are not rooted. You are not. Okay. We are talking about rivers of water here. What are the rivers of water? What kind of water are we talking about here? What is water? Let's open Revelation chapter 22. Verse, um, verse 1. The Bible says that, And he showed me a pure water, of water, a pure river of water of life, clear as crystal, proceeding out of the throne of God. You know, that water represents the word of God. Hallelujah. The word of God. Proceeding out of the mouth of God. A tree planted by the rivers of water. That tree will bring forth good fruit in the season. Oh, mommy, I've been blessed. Oh. Ha! In fact, the word of God of today, he touched me. Ask the sister. Sister, what did he touch you? What the Lord touched you? What did you learn? Ah, many things. Oh. What now? Ah, many. Oh. Many what? Ah, too much now. Say one thing. Say one thing. Are you just a hearer? If truly the word of God touched you, you'll be able to tell me that this one touched me, this one touched me, this one touched me. The word of God. When you hear it, when the word of God touches you, nothing can take it away from you. It is a lamp. The lamp of your heart. It will come and clear, open your heart. Take away all the darkness. And the truth, you know, you know set you free. Hallelujah. Why are you yelling? Why do you need the water of life? Why do you need to be rooted in, the, in, 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 in Christ? So that in the time of test, Every child of God must go through the test of purity, my sister. Every child of God. How do you bear fruit? The tree bear fruit in a season. You too, you bear fruit on your season. The season is that time that you need to really be tested as a child of God. When we need to test if you have patience, something will come. The Lord will send, if, will send Somebody very hard, with hard character, to test your patient. Do you fail or do you pass the test? What about the word, that word of God you said it touched you? Where do you put it? Did you put it in your heart? Waiting for the time to produce the good fruit? Many Christians fail like this. Fail, pretender. Yeah, pretender. Pretender. You cannot prove the fruit. You cannot produce the fruit in your due season. When the time comes for you to produce the fruit, you cannot. And you say you are a child of God. You are a pretender. You are a pretender, a pretender, a liar, disobedient child. Let me tell you the truth. If you cannot bear the fruit of the Holy Spirit, all the Lord has been watering your heart. The Lord has been talking to you, my daughter, my daughter, my daughter. When are you going to produce that fruit? My sister, if you cannot produce the food, you are a chef. Any Christian that have no root, this Christian they are not going to stay for long. This kind of Christian they always fall here and there, here and there. They are only even the way they think, the way they do things. You know that this is a level of a child, a born, a newborn again. When are you going to be a fruit? When are you going to grow? A tree that doesn't grow. It's not possible. That tree is not a tree. Many Christians today, they are not growing because of lack of water. The lack of the word of God. When we are preaching, you say, oh God, thank you Jesus for this message. 
You are just there to say thank you. You have taken God like a toy. Thank you and you don't mean it. Because if you mean it, you will go back and listen to it again. And say, God, this word that I had today, Father, I will not go, will go back to my vomit. I will not go back to my vomit. Father, help me. When the time of the test of purity will come, Father, I must pass the test. I must produce the fruit. I must produce the fruit. Not every day. I will tell you this every day. I'm here to tell you the truth. Many people are going to church just by formality. Today is Sunday. Let me just go. Fulfill all righteousness. Who told you that righteousness? That is righteousness. Who told you? So for you, this is righteousness because you came Sunday. You sat down. Eh? You are not the only person. Let me tell you. Even Catholic people, they gather today too. Jehovah Witness too. Other churches. They are not rooted in Christ. So your presence does not mean that your physical presence in the church does not mean that you are physically present in heaven. You can be present here, absent there. They don't know you. They don't know you. Are you a Christian? Or are you a chef? Answer me. Answer yourself. A Christian? A Christian? That doesn't read the word of God. Hi! Hey! Ah! A child of God, you call yourself a child of God. You are pleased to do many things. The whole day, whoop. but you don't. The word of God, you will not stay for long. I'm telling you, that is why you are shaking. You shake like that. You shake. You shake. You shake. You shake. Your, your your faith is not stable. Eh? What did they say again? Hey, hey, oh, eh, eh, why? Well, let me follow you. To, eh, my sister, let me follow. Eh, eh, what? Eh, a Christian like this, shake, shake, a tree that doesn't have a, 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 a root. The, the tree is shaking, shaking like this. You push, that tree is not a tree. It's a fake tree. It will die. It will die soon. For that tree to, 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 to sustain, you need to make sure that the root is inside the ground, solid, and water it. And the tree needs light for it to grow. Yes. It needs nourishment for it to grow. Just like a godly Christian. I'm talking about a godly Christian. No? Not Christian. Godly Christian. Sanctified believer. True children of God. Genuine children of God. They need nourishment. They need the word of God. Make sure, my sister, your spirit is growing. <laughs> Ask God to show you the state of your spirit. Ask the Lord to show you the state of your spirit. If physically you are fat, you are growing, but your spirit is tiny. The Lord showed to me before. He said, your spirit is tiny. There's no word of God in you. And it was true. Then he said, my daughter, meditate the word of God. Memorize it. You must memorize the, the Bible like children. They go to school, memorize. Begin to memorize. Because this is the source of your life. Any tree that is not planted by the rivers of water will not grow. Will not bring food. God will not bring forth good fruit. Memorize. No matter the level of your understanding. Memorize. You did that. Memo, memo, reciting Bible verses just for the children. Between the child and you, who needs the word of God most? A tree. A tree that has no root. A tree that has no water. Shaft. Fake tree. Fake Christian. Pretender. Liars. Christian by names. You don't, you don't have the word of God. That is why you cannot bear fruit. You cannot bear fruit. No wonder. You fall, fall, fall all the time. You are repeating the same things. The same sin for last year. You are kept keeping, carrying it. Every day in the spiritual realm. That same, that same yoke. That same yoke. When are you going to drop that yoke? When? A Christian? Is that the word of God? It's not a true Christian. No matter what. 
How can you subsist without the water? How can a tree can no there is no scientist explain no science can come and prove me some you know the 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 the, the opposite. No, unless the tree has water, it can never grow. You cannot tell me that you don't read the Bible, you don't read the word of God, and you grow. That is a lie from the pit of hell. If you are a child of God, you must be like a tree planted by the rivers of the water. And for God to bless you, you must be like a tree planted by the river of water. Now, what are the characteristics of a child of God who is like a tree planted by the rivers of water? Number one, the Bible, let's go to uh, Psalm, 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 Psalm 1. He said, Blessed is the man that walk not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinner, nor seated in the seat of the scornful. Blessed is that man. Blessed is that child of God. Number one, separate yourself. Separate yourself. Separate yourself from worldliness. The world. Ungodliness. The ways of the hidden. The ways of the unbeliever. The ways of the people that does not know God. Blessed is the man that doesn't follow that way. Hallelujah. For you to be blessed. For you to be like a tree. Planted by the rivers of water. Number one. You must not walk. You, will not, you, you must not walk. Walk. At the, uh, 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 you know. According to the counsel of. You will not follow the ways of the heathen. No. Hallelujah. You have a standard. You have principle. The ways of God. The first day you gave your life to Jesus, you don't you are not more yourself. Hallelujah. You cannot be a child of God and be in darkness. There's no way. You cannot serve God a mammon. You must choose one. And if you say you are a tree, you must be a fruit. Unless you are not a tree, just tell us that you are a child. Everybody will consider you as a child. That you are just there like that. But when, when you say you are a, a tree, we are expecting you to bring forth good fruit. We want to test your fruit. Whether they are good fruit. Yes. And you want blessing? You want God to bless you? When you don't, you are still walking in the ways of the ungodly. A child of God? <laughs> You don't want to separate. The Bible said be separate. Set apart. Yes. Set apart. You must be set apart. Second Corinthians chapter 6, verse 14. It says, Hallelujah. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbeliever. For what fellowship? At righteousness with unrighteousness. And what communion at light with darkness? What concord at Christ with Belial? What part had he that believed with an infidel? What agreement had the temple of God with idols? For ye are the temple of the living God, as God had said, I will dwell in them and walk in them, and I will be their God. They shall be my people. Wherefore, come out of from, from among them. Be ye separate, said the Lord. Touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. That's the commandment of God. The ways of the Lord. Follow God with all your heart, all your strength, all your mind. Hallelujah. You cannot be 50 50. You must be 100%. Anybody that said God wants only one part is a liar. That is the gospel of Satan. God wants everything. Everything. Even that dot. It belongs to God. Yes. Be separate. We are talking about the world here. Separate yourself from worldliness. Okay. The world we are talking here, it is not the global. You understand? I'm not telling you to go and build a monas, monas, you know, mosque there. Or maybe a church. You hide yourself there. 
Then you say, God, say, be is a pallet. I don't want to talk to anybody. I'm just alone. No, I'm not talking about that guy. I'm talking about the devil system. Hallelujah. The world system of the devil. The world, a system that promotes sin. The lust of the flesh. The lust of the eyes. The pride of life. I want to be. You see, I want, to, you understand? Pride. The lust. Lusting. You must not follow their ways. I am telling you today, if you want to enter the kingdom of God, you must not follow the ways of the ungodly. That is what the Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 1. It says, Have it therefore these promises, dearly beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh and of the spirit. Hallelujah. Perfecting holiness in the fear of God. I will always preach about holiness. Why? Because the Bible, the Lord told me that without holiness, nobody can see God. <laughs> holiness, he has everything. All the message is inside holiness. Peace, holiness. Joy is in holiness. Everything is in holiness. Anything you want here on earth, anything you want, heaven is inside holiness. The holiness of God. Any child of God that says he's a child of God, but you still follow the ways of the hidden. There is no difference between you and the ungodly people. You are a shaft. You are a fake tree, artificial Christian. Praise the Lord. Artificial Christian. You are called a Christian, but you are a chef Christian. You have no roots. Maybe you have roots, but your roots is not planted by the riverside. Where is your root then? You that call yourself a Christian. Who is feeding you? Who is feeding you? Look at the way you are dry. Look at the way you are dry. That is why you bear no good fruit. The Bible says in Matthew chapter 7 verse, verse 19. <coughs> This is God oh, speaking to you today, my sister. Matthew chapter 7, verse 19. I read in Jesus' name. <laughs> eh? Matthew chapter 7, verse 19. It says, Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewed down and cast into the fire. Wherefore, by their fruit you shall know them. By a fruit you will know who is a child of God, who is a shaft. I don't need to ask you, are you a Christian? Only by your fruit, I will know whether you are a child of God or you are a shaft, you are a fake Christian. Fake Christian. Somebody can call himself a tree. Even the tree that you carry, you put in the house. To decorate the house. He called himself a tree. Yes? But you and me know that it's not a tree, it's just a shaft. And yes, he has no root. He will die soon. Any Christian, if Jesus come, you are that kind of Christian, you are not going. Let me tell you, you will miss rapture. Do you think that Christianity is lotto? <laughs> that you have to win the lotto? It's just to be like that? No! My sister, <laughs> you and I know whether you will go or not. Check your fruit. Check your fruit. Check your fruit, the fruit of your, your, your spiritual life. How long are you going to remain like this? God said he will cut you down. He will cut that tree down. You are just there occupying space. Eh? Even water cannot do anything again. The water, 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 the water is just going. They will cut you down because you don't, you don't bring good fruit. I pray it will not be your portion in the name of Jesus. Don't play your, with your life. Don't play with your eternity. Ah, ah, look at the testimony Sister Vera just gave. Just like one minute from eternity. Eternity is not far from you and me. I am telling you. Ah. Today I was crying my bed. Say, Jesus, help me. Eternity is not far from you. Do, you. do you think that eternity is a trip that you will travel for six hours? No. It's one second. 
It's just that God take away that breath. You are gone. Then the other side, you are not far from your eternity. You don't know, maybe tomorrow is your turn. Maybe tomorrow is my turn. Maybe I'm going to meet my eternity tomorrow. You don't know that. <laughs> ah, now you know. Prepare yourself. A Christian, you call yourself a Christian. But when you have trouble, you go and seek counsel outside. Unbelievers, where is your Bible? Can't you take the word of God? When are you going to take this like a companion? Make sure that this is in your heart. When? When? You don't have any excuse for You will not say, go, I don't know how to read though. <laughs> if you cannot read, there are, there are messages on YouTube you can hear. You can download the Bible in your phone. Be listening. This generation will never have any, there's no excuse for you. This generation will unto you. Who unto you, this generation, if you fail to obey the Lord? What are you going to tell God? What are you going to tell God? I didn't know. They never told me. Oh, this, this. The other time, they don't have what we have today. <laughs> I am telling you today, it's touching you, yeah? It's touching you. If it's touching you, why not put it in your heart, in practice? Eh? Go and sin no more, my sister. Go and sin no more. Go and sin no more. God will only bless the man that is totally separate from darkness. Totally separate from the world. It is true. God will only hear the prayer of a child of God. Not fake Christian, not artificial Christian. They only come to God when you know they are so dry, 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 dry. When the tree is almost falling, that is the one they rescue. Oh la 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 Christian of today. The Bible says in First Corinthians chapter five verse nine. First Corinthians chapter five verse nine. Thank you, Jesus. First Corinthians chapter five verse nine. It says, "I wrote unto you." In an epistle, not to company with fornicators. Not to company with fornicators. Now, I'm not telling you that if your husband is a fornicator, leave your husband. No. You hear me very well. <laughs> if your son is a fornicator, deny him. Begin to curse him. No, it's not what I'm saying. He said not to company with fornicators. Apostle Paul himself. He was preaching to the Gentiles. Gentiles. Men among them, fornicators, idolater, anoba, any kind of magician. So it's not that way. What Apostle Paul wants to say is that fornication, fornicators are sinners. But fornication is a sin. And he said, don't keep company with fornicators. Now, a Christian can be a fornicator. There is a difference between a sinner who commits fornication and a Christian who commits fornication. The answer is verse 10. Let's read. Yet, not all together with the fornicator of this world, or with the convertors, or extortioners, or with idolaters, for then must you need go out, must ye need go out of the world. Hallelujah. So it's not talking about the fornicators of this world. You cannot avoid. I'm not telling you what Apostle Paul is saying that in your in your school, fornicators are there. In the market, fornicators are there. You cannot avoid them. If you want to avoid them, you need to go to another world, not this world, because they are everywhere. So it is not what he's saying. What he's saying is in verse 11. He said, but now I have written unto you not to keep company. If any man that is called a brother be a fornicator, a covetous, idolater, a rela, a drunkard, extonia, a, a, a extortioner, with such and one not to even eat. 
Mm -hmm. He said, for what have I to do to judge them? Judge them also that are without. Do not you judge them that are within. It's the children of God. We're judging ourselves. I correct you. You. Not the person that doesn't know Christ. You must preach them repentance. They don't know Christ. But you, I'm telling you, if you continue to do that, you are going to hell. Yes. A child of God. You call yourself a child of God. And you go and do like that. Ungod ungodly. The Bible said I should not even walk with you. I should not even eat with you. You are betraying Christ. Hey? You are you people are the one. You a child of God that does like this. They are the one betraying Jesus. They are the one, you know, blaspheming the name of God. You call yourself a Christian. But look at the way they see you fighting in the street. A pastor. Can you imagine? A pastor doing 419. Hey! 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 Pastor. Man of God. Woman of God caught in adultery. In the hotel. And then they will say in the church, I didn't, it's the devil, eh? The church will say, yes. They will stand on the altar. Look at you, shaft. Fake, fake Christian. Fast pastor. Fast teachers. The Bible says I should not even eat with you. No, no. Unless you repent sincerely. So that is the kind of people a child of God, if you want to be blessed, you must not follow the ways of the ungodly. Your life must preach Jesus. Your life must reflect God. Yes. Number two. Amen. B before we continue, it means that uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 14. 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 14. Let's go back. 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 6, 14. Hallelujah. Be you not in unequally yoked together with unbeliever. Hallelujah. So, as a child of God, you have a new life. The Bible says that all things are passed away. Behold, things have become new. You are a new creature. A new, you, a lot of things have changed in your life. You have stopped this. You have stopped that. You have stopped this. A lot of this stop, stop. Many stop, many things that you have stopped. Everybody will know that you have become new. The thing you used to do, the sin you used to love, you love them no more. You hate them with passion. Yes. But now, after giving your life to Jesus, you say you are giving your life to Jesus. You say love those things. You are not a Christian. You are just Christian with formality because you still carry you all color time you. You have not changed. You have not changed. And any believer that placed himself under the counsel of you understand of the ungodly is not a consistent christian there is a difference between somebody let's say i'm inviting an unbeliever in my house for a dinner knowing that while he's eating i will minister jesus to him but it's different from somebody inviting a sinner in his house to seek for counsel while they are eating he would tell the sinner, my sister, I just found out my husband is teaching. What do you think? What do you think what? What kind of counseling is that? What are you expecting from such person? The person will tell you that, look, my sister, do like me. I noticed my husband too was, was teaching on me. Do you know? I have a second man outside. And as the unbeliever is telling you, it's serious. For him, it's normal. He does not seek the counsel of God. He's not planted by the river. He's not rooted in the word of God. He's not built. His faith is not built in Christ. You cannot be a child of God and you seek the counsel of the ungodly. Your friends are ungodly people. You, you feel comfortable with them. The only way I can see you laugh is when we are with, you are with them. You people are laughing. When they are doing their party, their uh, evil party, you go there. When they are dancing, you are dancing with them. Oh, my sister, I'm not telling you to go to any, they invite you to any birthday, marriage, you don't go. Go there, do what you have to do, and go back. When they begin to drink the alcohol, they begin to put the andomolo music. You are out of it. Out of it, my sister. Yes. Don't pollute your garment. Number two, you want to be blessed? You are a child of God? 
you are you are like a tree planted by the river of God. How can I know that you are a, you are a child of God that is rooted by the word of God? Number two, the Bible says, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. A child of God that meditate the word of God day and night. Oh my sister. When the Bible says day and night, it says it means continually. <laughs> continually. Some people say, okay, because, because it's day and night, I will just wait in the morning. Wait in the night to fulfill all righteousness. Your delight is not there. You are just doing formality. I'm talking about somebody that loves reading the word of God. Continuously. Yes. The Bible says in, in Joshua, the book of Joshua, hallelujah, chapter 1, verse 8, it says, This book of the Lord shall not depart out of their mouth, but thou shalt meditate there in day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then that shall make their way prosperous. It's after all this that you will be prosperous. That God will bless you. A child of God that doesn't read the word of God. But you are waiting for a dream. <laughs> uh, some people have the grace. Mm -hmm. Even with that grace. You see the dream. Oh, 24 hours. If you are not rooted. You are not planted by the rivers of water. You are a fake tree. You are a fake Christian. You are a sharp. You will not stand for a long time. God is giving a commandment to every child of God. And that commandment requires actions. As a child of God, you must obey. If you want to be blessed, you need to meditate the word of God. Meditate it. You don't, need, you, you don't read the word of God. You don't meditate the word of God. But you want blessing. Abraham blesses a mind. You don't follow the ways of God. God is simply telling you that read the word of God. Study his word continually. You can read. You can listen to messages. You build yourself. Your inner man. Hallelujah. Meditate on it. Walk on the word of God. Recite it. Recite it. He said, this book of the Lord shall not depart out of thy mouth. Mouth. Your mouth. You speak it. You speak it. How can you speak it when you don't know it? Recite the word of God. Obey everything written in it. Hallelujah. After doing it, then the promise is that you will prosper. Hallelujah. You will prosper. This book of the Lord shall not depart of, uh, from your mouth. The mouth. It means meditation. Meditation involves talkings. Yes. You speak the word of God. Every child of God, yes. as far as you can read. If you cannot read, you can put it in listening. Consume the word of God. Think deeply the word of God. Put it in, in words, in actions. That is why I'm encouraging all of us here to be reciting. My sister, I don't mind. Buy a new book. Put your Bible verse. Begin to recite. Recite it. Some people, they recite Quran. They recite incantation. Your own is the word of God. From today. The Bible says this book of the Lord shall not depart of your mouth, not of your brain. Your mouth. Speak it. Speak the word of God. Act upon it. We are to, to be doers of the word of God. Not just here. Hallelujah. Don't be like the ungodly. Don't be like the ungodly. Who are just like chef. The Bible says in that um, Psalm, Psalm chapter 1. It says, but verse 5. Verse 4. The ungodly are not so. But are like the chef. Which the wind drives away. Therefore, the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinner in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. Don't follow the way of the ungodly. Be a righteous woman. Be a virtuous woman. Be a child of God. A child of God. God with quality. 
the fruits. Not the numbers of years you spend in, in Christianity, no. The fruit. Somebody can be born again today. It be a good fruit than you that did there for 20 years. As I'm talking to you, I'm talking to myself too, my sister. I'm crying before God. Why, whenever I fall into maybe a test of purity, I cry because I don't have all the fruit. If you don't have all those fruit, I don't. I doubt. Or if you see God, I doubt. I would. I doubt. Failing to pray, failing to meditate, you are backsliding. You are going back little by little. The end of January, if I tell you the amount of sin people are seen today, this this month, hey, even past the one you seen last year, you are going back. You are going back. A life, a child of God. You must be separated. And you must be focused. Make sure you are rooted in the word of God. Make sure all your resources come from the throne of God. Make sure that God has the absolute control of your life. Make sure that you bear good fruit. The fruit of the Holy Spirit. That the light of God overshadow your life. Yes, you are shining all over your life. Yes, yeah, all around. Yes, when they look at you, they see a child of God. Yes, a woman of God. A man of God. When storm comes, you will not fall. Why? Because your root, you are rooted. You are built. Your faith is built in Christ. Hallelujah. The lack of praying means that you are separated from God. The lack of reading the word of God means that you are separated from God. Going back, worldliness, you are separated from God. You cannot be a worldly Christian and make heaven. Let me tell you that all the women that are putting on all these earrings, you say your body is for you. You are putting earrings. A child of God, you put makeup, you are not going to see God. You are a woman, you put lipstick, you are not going to enter the kingdom of God because lipstick is part of the lust of the flesh. Yes, the lust of the eyes. You bleach your skin. You put on all this weave on, all this fake hair, trousers, all this high, high heel that change your, your, you begin to walk like a serpent, like snake, like that. You can't walk straight. God created you, you are walking straight. When you buy high heel, buy the one that it will keep your you walk straight. Don't go and buy like this. No, 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 no. It is not godliness. It is not godliness. You dress and you show your body like that. You understand? They see your loves, your private part, your private area. The area that only you and your husband will see. You are not a child of God. You are a chef. You are a fake Christian. Because you are still walking the ways of the ungodly. Maybe you are not working like the one of the ungodly, but you are still a woman. You have jealousy in your heart, envy, lying spirit, you know, hypocrite. All those things, you cannot see God. You are a child. Because a child of God that is rooted in the word of God, walk by it. Hallelujah. Don't be a child, my sister. Don't be a child. Don't be like the ungodly. Hallelujah. Don't be like a shaft that doesn't have a root. Ready to, blow, to be blown away. That is why anything will happen, you shake like this. Because you are not solid in the faith. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Check your life. Check your life. Praise the Lord. If you see that you are with that, you know, there are some states place in your heart, in your life, the Lord says he's ready to fix it. Praise the Lord. When the tree, there are some, there are some leaves that are dry. Those leaves need to be, need to fall. Hallelujah. The Lord is going to, to cleanse you today. He's ready to, to, to cleanse you afresh. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. If you see that you have been going, going back gradually, wake up today. Come back. Make sure you are, you are planted by the rivers of the water. Yeah. Make sure that you, you, you are built in the faith. Praise the Lord. Make sure you are on spot by the world. The world. Your body is clean. Holy. 
Holiness even in the house, my sister. Many sisters are dead in the house. Holiness everywhere. Plan yourself, I told you. If there is camera, I will show you my house. Even though I'm, I'm busy like this, I make sure that everywhere is clean. Prepare your children. Show them how to clean up plate. Show them how to be neat. Your body as well. Neat inside, neat outside. The way you dress matters a lot. Holiness, when God says holiness, he check everything. They will scan your life. They will do an x-ray of your life. They will do the x-ray of the body, the x-ray of the soul, the x-ray of the spirit. Three of them. Because you are three in one. You are incomplete without the body. You are incomplete without the soul. You are incomplete without the spirit. When there is no body, you are dead. When there is no spirit, you are dead. There is no soul, you are dead. You must have the three of them. So they cannot be judging you. They judge only their spirit. They don't judge your soul. <laughs> it means that that's not, God is not like that. Some people have, they think God is a madman. No. They think God, God will judge every, all your actions, my dear. Everything like that. Everything. A, B, C, D to Z. Come back to your father. Come back to your first love. Saturate yourself with the word of God. Hallelujah. Meditation, meditate. Let your spirit meditate. When the spirit is meditating, it is just like your body is digesting the food. Praise the Lord. Allow your spirit to meditate the word of God within you. Yes. Digest it. Recite it. Walk by it. Live by it. Not only delight, but absorb it. Hallelujah. Become a source of spiritual nourishment. When you have a tree, everybody is blessed by the tree, the fruit. Become a blessing, a channel of blessing for others. When they see you, they see you as a child of God. Somebody can come to you and say, yes, this is the woman I can go and ask for a spiritual counsel. Because I can see the fruit. Praise the Lord. Allow God to bless you today. He wants to bless you. But you must become a tree planted by the rivers of water. That was the word of God for today. I pray, my sister, that you will not be a hearer only, but you will be a doer. In the name of Jesus, begin to bear good fruit, worthy of repentance. God bless you. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Everlasting Father, I give you all the glory. Thank you, Jesus, for the word of God of today. Lord, I pray. Jesus will not be stranger in your house. Will not be visitors in your house. This word that we have heard will abide in our life and bear good fruit in the name of Jesus. I cover all your children in the blood of Jesus. Father, sanctify them by your truth in Jesus' name. Because your word is truth, O oh God. Receive all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 I want you to open your mind, begin to talk to God. Tell God today what you want God to do for you in Jesus' name. Open your mind, begin to talk.